Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Zane Working Crafts. This one, we're not making anything. If you don't have a 3D printer, you don't have to watch this one. But if you're thinking about getting a resin printer, you might want to watch this. I have a Frozen Sonic Mini 4K. This is my screen. You don't want your screen to ever look like this. And I'm going to show you how to avoid this and how to replace the screen because this is now unusable. There is holes in it. You can see through it. See, you can see that light through there. You don't wanna see that when this is off. Uh, that means that there is damage to that screen. I'm gonna show you how to fix this and avoid having this happen, all right? If you're interested, join me. If not, see ya. Alrighty, so here is the printer with the resin vat and the build plate removed, making sure that the lid is secured. We're going to gently flip it over. Now the bottom of this is secured with four hex screws. So we're gonna take a hex key and remove it. And then very gently, we're going to lift off the bottom, keeping in mind that the UV light array is attached to the bottom. And this is tethered to the board, so we're going to unplug the UV light array by pulling very gently on the green plug. Next, we need to remove the connection for the screen. So here you'll see a small board attached to the front interface screen. You're going to remove the black electrical tape and then very gently, you're going to lift the clip tab holding in the ribbon cable for the screen with a flathead screwdriver. Now you're going to take the screen and retape it to the side. And now we're ready to flip it back over gently and we're gonna replace the screen. Starting out, you have this electrical tape. You're gonna just toss it. You don't need it. We're gonna replace it. Using the same screwdriver we used to release the cable, we're going to very gently lift up the screen and pull it out. And we're gonna be careful doing this because there is a piece of glass underneath here that we need to leave intact. And now we're ready to apply the replacement screen. Now we're gonna wear gloves for this because we don't want our fingerprints on the new screen. So very gently, we're gonna take it out of its packaging and there's gonna be film on both sides of the screen. So we're gonna peel this off and then barcode side facing us, we're going to drop the ribbon cable through that slot and set the screen down. Now we're gonna apply some electrical tape just to hold this screen in place while we flip it back over to make the connections. Now we're connecting that ribbon tape back into that chip and once that connection is made, we're going to close that tab and tape it back to the front of that user interface screen. The last step inside here is plugging back in that UV light array. After plugging back in the UV light array, it's time to close up the machine. We're gonna place the bottom back on, and then we're gonna tighten those hex screws with the hex key. Once we're done with that, we're gonna flip it back over and it's time to really secure that screen. Now, if you just want to replace the screen, you can stop here. You just secure that screen with some electrical tape and you're good to go. But if you want to protect your screen from further damage or having to replace your screen later, rip off all that electrical tape and apply a screen protector to your screen and make sure it's a plastic screen protector. I will provide in the description a screen protector, the one that I used on mine. And what you're going to do is you're going to apply that screen protector to the screen like you would to your phone. And then you're gonna take the electrical tape and seal the edges of the screen with the screen protector on it to the machine and you're done. You now have a screen protector on your screen so that if you get a resin leak, you can just peel off that screen and replace it. That way you're not replacing the entire screen for $100 like I had to. Let's think smart now, people. I hope this video helps you if you have a Frozen Sonic Mini 4K or if you have a Frozen Sonic Mini, if you have any other printer, I hope this helps. Just gives you an insight of how simple it is to replace the screen. I'm pretty sure they make these things knowing that you're eventually going to replace the screen, seeing as they do have a limited screen life. And I think you get 30,000 hours of printing or something like that. I don't know, don't quote that. But it's an eventuality that you're gonna replace the screen. So I hope that if you do have this printer, it was easy to follow. Um, in real time, it took me maybe 10 minutes to replace this thing. So it's easy, it's doable, just be careful. 
and avoid the mistakes that I did and use a screen protector. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hit that like button if you haven't already hit subscribe.